This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com. So we have robots in our lives now to help us vacuum, to help us make cars, and a whole pile of other things like that. But this little robot here is to help us with something else. I'm here with Mark, the co-founder of BeatBots, who's going to tell us what the Keepon does. Yeah, so Keepon was designed uh, by my partner in Japan, Hideki Kojima, for autism therapy. It's meant to be a very simple creature that children who are normally overwhelmed by human social behavior can comfortably interact with, understand its attention and simple emotional behaviors. So how, how does this actually work? Uh, so it's got cameras in the eyes, a microphone in the nose, and then four motors in the base that make it move. And a therapist who's in, typically in another room controlling the robot using an interface where they can see and hear what the robot sees and hears, mm -hmm. and controls the robot in such a way that they try to reinforce positive social behaviors from these kids. So things that we take for granted, like making eye contact, talking to the robot, touching it, uh, for these kids might be very difficult normally, but with the simple robot we found that uh, they are a lot more comfortable being social with it. And that's been a very exciting thing for the therapists and the parents to see. Now what happens if um, a kid decides it doesn't like the robot and wants to, to beat it up? Can it take a beat? And actually, yeah, we have had situations where kids who initially started out very violent towards the robot, mm -hmm. um, it's designed to handle all that kind of uh, rough handling. But then over time, the relationship usually changes uh, to where they are actually taking care of the robot and even protecting it from other children. And so to see that kind of nice progression in a child with autism is uh, really exciting because it tells us that maybe by simplifying the social context, we can allow their natural and innate intact motivation to be social shine through. Okay. So obviously this is a therapeutic tool. Can, can anyone buy this? And if so, I mean, how much would it cost? So uh, right now, uh, it's mainly targeted to institutional users since it does cost a few thousand dollars each uh, to make one of these robots. And that's because of the, component, the expensive components and also because we have to make them in small quantities. Uh, but we are working to make it more widely available for all different kinds of applications, whether it's research or therapy or even entertainment. Mm -hmm. We made a few music videos with Keep On Dancing uh, in different places around the world, and those have become very popular on YouTube. And so we, we do get a lot of uh, requests for this, this really simple, cute, engaging robot, and we're, we're working really hard to, to make this uh, character and technology available. There you go. I'm not sure how to take this. He keeps looking away from me. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel a little bit slighted here. Anyways, thank you so much, Mark, for Thanks talking about the Kipon. This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssistExpress. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com.